are now learning more about three family members killed in a flash flood outside of Ripley, Ohio over the weekend. A pregnant mother and her two children died when their mobile home was lifted off its foundation by raging waters. WLWT News says Brian Hamrick is live for us in Brown County tonight with more on this story. Brian. Yeah, Cherie, well, let me show you how this all unfolded. The family was at home. They were asleep when the flood water started to come up. And let me show you where they were. They were in that area where you see those blocks. That was the foundation. The flood waters came up all around them. By the time they noticed, they couldn't get out. The water started then moving their house along with everything else down here. That trailer, it collided with this house. But the home where the family was, it went behind into those trees where it slammed into them, dumping the family into the water. Broken boards and twisted metal. It's just a bad place. It's right here by this creek. Now echo a tragedy even greater than the devastation left behind. This is terrible, you know. A flash flood awakens a family of six who finds themselves trapped inside their mobile home, surrounded by water. Before it was over, half of them would be killed. Two children, seven year old Gabriel Barrios and his five year old sister, Rose Barrios, and their mother, who is pregnant. Victoria Kennard. She's going to be missed, you know. Well, she was a good person, you know, loved her kids, you know. Jeffrey Downing is Kennard's stepbrother. He lives right next door in this mobile home. It was also lifted off its foundation, but he wasn't home and never will be again. Oh, no, I ain't going to live down here no more. I have to find me somewhere else to live. The flash flood so powerful it ripped the pavement off the road. Taking a toll on neighborhoods all along Red Oak Creek, launching cars into the water and flooding homes along the community just outside Ripley. And when firefighters got the call that a family was dumped into the water, it was a very stressful situation, and, and, and until we, you know, it was very chaotic for for uh, the first half hour. Tony Pepper is chief of Ripley Volunteer Fire. His crews battled the lightning, raging waters, and the pitch black night. We could hear them. But we were having a difficult time finding them. Crews were able to save the father and two of the children, but now an entire community is struggling with a loss even more devastating than the damage would indicate. Now, this whole community is pulling together. There's a vigil set tomorrow night for 8 o'clock at St. Michael's in Ripley, and at Ripley Elementary on Saturday, there's a benefit being planned. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.